friends, welcome to this week's sermon message. For the last few weeks, we have learned that Paul traveled from city to city telling people about Jesus. Paul wanted to teach the people in Ephesus even more about God, so he decided to write a letter. Remember he wrote this letter even when he was in prison? This letter became a book in the Bible in the New Testament. It is the book of Ephesians. Paul um, spent the first half of the letter talking about the great truths of the gospel, the good news that Jesus died for sinners. Many Ephesians had already believed on Jesus, but Paul wanted to remind them how great God is and what he has done for them. We're going to read from the first chapter of Ephesians today so we can be reminded of God's goodness and greatness. I have five truths that I'm going to share with you, and I will read you a verse from Ephesians chapter 1 that matches those truths. Are you ready? Let's get started. So in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4, and if you have your Bibles with you, you can pause the video, go get your Bible, and look it up with me. So Ephesians is in the book of, um, in the New Testament, it's after Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, Galatians, and then Ephesians. Okay, I think I'm, I hope I'm right. Um, if you can't find it in the beginning of the Bible, you will see the table of contents. So, and you can um, look for Ephesians all the way at the bottom. Um, and actually, it's before Thessalonians, but it is after Corinthians. So you can uh, look up Ephesians. All right, are you ready? Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. This Bible verse is telling us that God knew all about you even before he created the world. That's amazing. You know, you think that uh, you were born maybe, you know, eight years ago, 10 years ago, or five years ago, right? And you were in your mom's tummy in her womb. But that's not when God created you. God created you even before he created this world that's been around thousands of years. That's, that is an amazing truth. Let's read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4 through 5. In love. He, predest he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ. God loves you so much. He made a way for you to be a part of his family. You can be part of God's family through Jesus. Now, turn to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Jesus bled and died on the cross so you can be forgiven. He loves you so much, he died to take the punishment for your sin. So remember, even when we are born as babies, but we're born as sinners, but that doesn't mean we um, can't be with God forever. If we believe on Jesus, we believe that Jesus sacrificed himself to die on the cross for our sins, taking our sins onto him. So now that we, if you believe on Jesus, you can have that forever friendship with God. Next, let's read Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11. In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. God has promised you many good things once you are part of his family, but you have to make the choice to do so. Finally, let's read Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with the seal, the promised Holy Spirit. Once you believe on Jesus, God the Holy Spirit lives inside you to help you. He will never leave you. All the truth you just heard are for you. Listen to what Paul says in the next chapter of Ephesians. Chapter 2 verse 5. Made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Until you believe on Jesus, when God looks at you, he sees someone who is dead in sin. This means you are not able to come to God, love God, or follow God on your own. Maybe you are filled with anger. Maybe you always look out for just yourself and try to get your way all the time. 
does your sin keep God, um, keep God from loving you? No. God always loves you. He's always there. He's just waiting for you to make that choice, to make that leap of faith, to believe on Jesus. This verse says God loves you even though you sin. He is rich in mercy towards you. That means he is not giving you the punishment that you deserve. In fact, his love is so great, he makes it possible for you to become alive in him instead of dead in your sin. How? By believing on Jesus, God the Son, who came to earth and died on the cross and came back to life. When you believe on Him, He changes you. He gives you a new desire to live for Him. He enables you to follow Him and have a personal relationship with Him. He makes you alive. Isn't that great that God would do this for you even when you were dead in sin? The Ephesians must have been so pretty excited when they finished reading the first part of the letter. It was a great reminder of all that God had done for them. You can be encouraged by what Paul wrote too. He began the letter to the Ephesians by explaining the good news of the gospel, that Jesus came to save you. If you have not believed on Jesus yet, talk to your parents and, and ask them about it. Make that choice. If you have any questions, you can always um, ask your parents to email me or talk with the pastors of Hope Church.